Alright, the second to last uh, lesson of this unit, lesson 3.7, multiplying polynomials, we kind of change pace a little bit here in that we're no longer talking about factoring, so we're going to be multiplying, essentially doing expanding. Um, now we're going to soup it up a little bit, we're no longer going to just be using the FOIL method, I always tell my students this is almost like FOIL on, uh, on steroids here. Um, because if you look even at the first one right here, you guys are normally used to having a question like this where there would be only like those uh, two different binomials. Now we're going to multiply the um, binomial by a trinomial. All right. So let's, uh, let's get after this one. It's a, a shorter lesson and those of you who are uh, good at uh, algebra, I think you guys will like this. So if it says to expand and simplify, we first go and expand, then the simplify part just means at the end you're going to go ahead and gather your like terms. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and give this one a try. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this 3k, our first term here, we're going to multiply it by the next terms in the, uh, the next bracket first. So 3k times k squared gives you 3k cubed, because remember this is k to the power of 1 and we add those exponents. Next one we have is negative 6k squared minus 21k. And now we're going to take this 4 and multiply it by all these ones in here. So of course there'll be 6 terms. So how you can always tell how many terms you'll have at the end is how many are in the first bracket times however many in the second bracket. And then after that you'll gather your like terms. So now we have plus 4k squared minus 8k minus 28. Gathering our like terms, we want to put it in descending order of power. So my k cubes are going to go first. If we look here I have these as my k squared, so I'll gather those together. That gives me a negative 2k squared. Uh, these two would be just my k, so that's negative 29k. And then lastly, the 28 is on its own over here as minus 28. Okay, so um, the next thing that they have right here is uh, I, I've put forward kind of a way that you guys can check, okay? So this is one way to check that a product is likely correct is to substitute a number for the variable in the original expression and in the product. All right, the expressions are, uh, if the expressions are equal, then we can probably say it's correct. So if I zoom out here a little hair a bit, imagine that I went and I said something like this. Let, um, we'll do this in blue. Let k equal 0. All right, so this is going to be for the original first. So the original I'll do right here. So I'll have 3k plus 4 all multiplied by k squared minus 2k, minus 7. So if I substituted 0 in there, in this first bracket I would just only have a 4, because 3 times 0 is just that. And this next bracket I would have just a negative 7. And so my solution for that would end up giving me negative 28. Okay, so keep that in mind. Maybe I'll just highlight that as my solution. Now I'll do the new equation, so maybe I'll just write new down here. So I have 3k cubed minus 2k squared minus 29k minus 28. Now I think you can probably see that you can have 0 minus 0 minus 0 because if we're letting k equal 0 like we have up here then you just simply get negative 28. And So since both of those equations are the same we have a pretty good idea that we have the right answer. So that's just one way that you guys can go ahead and check. Um, I would definitely do that, maybe not necessarily in all your homework assignments, but you may want to do that on your on your test, right? You finished with maybe 20 minutes left. Why not go through and make sure that you got them all right? Um, that's the beauty of math, is often it should not be a guessing game. After you complete a question, go and check it. If it's not right, then go back to the drawing board. Number two. All right, so let's go ahead and expand and simplify this one. Of course, we have um, two trinomials, so when we multiply those two trinomials, we should get nine terms at the end. So the first one I'll take. We have negative 2 squared times the 5t squared that gives me a negative 10t to the power of 4. Now we have negative 2 squared times negative 2t that gives me positive 4t cubed. And then negative 2t squared times the positive 1 gives you negative 2t squared. All right. So now that I've done that, I've kind of dealt with that one, now I'm going to take the next one, the 4t, and multiply it on it. So when I do that, I have 4t times 5t squared gives me plus 20t cubed minus 8t squared plus 4t. And then my last ones is just bringing this negative 3 and multiplying it by these guys. We have negative 15t squared plus 6t minus 3. All right. Gathering our like terms, we've got lots of work to do here. Um, what uh, you may like to do is after you um, have done the first step there, you may want to even gather your like terms. I can use the little highlighter I have right here to maybe make it a little bit easier. 
Um, for instance, maybe I'll do the t cubes in blue. Those are my t cubes. Uh, maybe I'll do the, I don't know, let's do maybe yellow for the t squareds. And uh, what's another light color that we could use? Maybe the gray. Is that going to work? Yeah, I think so. The d gray for the for the T's. And then we just have one integer right there. So that may help you. Of course, I'm not saying you need to use highlighters, but you may want to just circle them or whatever so that you gather your like terms correctly. So gathering my like terms correctly here, now I have my T cubes I'll deal with next. That gives me plus 24 T cubes. My T squareds, I have negative 2, negative 8, negative 15. That's negative 25 T squared. And now my gray guys here, I have 4t and a positive 6t that gives me plus 10t. And lastly, I have my negative 3. All right. So that would be your final solution. Uh, I'm not going to do a check for this one. You can mosey on over to the next page. All right, here's one that says expand and simplify. Uh, I'd like you to, ex uh, to try this one on your own here. This is one that's uh, very similar to what we did on the last page. Uh, pause the video right here and, uh, and then try this on your own. You can fast forward to where the solution is. So solving this one, uh, we have 6v squared plus 4vw minus 14v minus 15vw. Notice that I put it in that order, vw, right there. A lot of you might have said that it would be w and v. It doesn't really make any difference. I would just notice that I've already put it in that order there, so when you gather those like terms, um, it'll be a little bit easier. Now we'll subtract 10w squared, and lastly we have minus 35w. Gathering my like terms, I have 6v squared minus 10w squared minus 11 W V minus 14 V minus 35 W. Okay, I'm really hoping, folks, that you're going ahead and you are um, pausing the video to try these on your own. That's how you're really going to learn. You'll even save yourself some time, so you don't have to listen to me uh, go on through it. Okay. Last one here is uh, a doozy. Uh, I wanted to give you a tough one here, and uh, it is a little bit taxing. Okay, example four, simplifying sums and differences of polynomial products. This is expand and simplify. So you see we got lots of stuff to go uh, to deal with right here. Uh, biggest problem I would see with uh, this type of question is that students are going to jump right in and they're going to start using the distributed property for all of this craziness over here. Well, notice that you could simplify that and make it a whole lot e easier. You have 6h plus k minus 3. So I'm just going to leave this stuff for right now. But here, 4k minus 3k gives you just k. So right now you have negative k squared, like so. All right. So that made things look a heck of a lot easier. So multiplying these together, we have 6h times 2h gives you 12h squared minus 18h plus 2kh. Make sure your k's and your h's don't kind of meld together here. Uh, minus 3k uh, minus 6h plus 9 minus k squared. All right. And then lastly, looking for any like terms here, we have 12h squared. Uh, looks like these guys can be gathered together. So that's going to give you a negative 24h plus 2kh minus 3k minus k squared. Now the book is not too, uh, not too specific about what order you want these in. So for these type of questions, I'm OK if you uh, just leave it like so. Um, that would be simplified fully. There's nothing else that can be gathered. The order is fine by me. And so that concludes this lesson. Um, basically, like I said, it's, it's really just what you guys have been doing um, with the distributed property and FOIL, only we're just taking it one step further. For this last question here, it was important that you recognize that sometimes these can be simplified before you get going.